hard to think that testicular cancer started in my body as one, just one abnormal cell. And by the time we learned that I had cancer, the cancer cells had already grown into multiple lesions in my stomach, my lungs, and my liver. Why? Why was this happening to me? Why had I never heard about it before? Doctors are telling me that this is the most common cancer in guys my age. So why? Why isn't anyone talking about it? Why had I never heard about it until now? Now that it's taking over my entire life. What am I doing here? What am I doing here at this audition? I don't, don't want this part. I really don't want this part. I don't believe it will be glamorous. It won't be opera, no swooning diva, no violetta, no burst of aria. And even if it were, I can't sing. Never could, and no, no, I don't know how, how to dance. Dance with death. You should have called back someone else. I fit the part, I fill the bill, I've got the goods. Could you really, really need another one of me? A young, well, youngish, female. One breast of flesh, one something else. Veins full, full of chemo junk. A trooper with her very own wig? I told you. Didn't I tell you I don't want this part? You need someone, someone else. Someone who likes to lie down on the job. I'm hyperactive. I really am. I can never, never learn my lines. I can't believe you truly think I'm old enough to play this part. So you, so you know what? Call me back. Call me back in 40 years. I'll play the old one then, the way I want. I would be very, very good. I would be very good, very good at old. Can't you see it the way I can? I would ski, ski down a slope. Doing my own stunts in a golden suit. Backdrop pine trees shining, shining. Glowing, glowing in a copper light. Through the forest of birthday candles, I, I would fly. fly. Oh, I would fly. I wondered why I had to meet the doctor at the hospital. Something must be wrong, I thought. Once you admit it. Ian. Admit it? Into the hospital? Why? I don't feel that sick. I feel fine. What's going on? Please, Ian, let's just see what the doctor says. We'll do everything he says and we'll see, okay? I want to know why the doctor wants me to go to the hospital. What's happening? He thinks you have cancer, Ian. I felt my whole body change from the sense of tense, concern, and almost numb, vulnerable feeling of alarm and dread. I felt a sense of hopelessness coming over both of us. We'll do what we have to do. And we'll get through this. We'll get through this together. I stood outside on a windy day, and I ran my fingers through my hair. Long, silky strands of threads blew across the lawn. They glistened in the sun. Too many to count. I imagined a bird's nest lying with my mane, woven by a mama bird. The baby birds nestled snug inside, warmed by my fallen tresses. Now, on the wintry nights, when my head is cold, I pull my wool cap over my ears, and I smile as I dream of baby birds sleeping in my hair. Ian, you do know you're here because you've been diagnosed with cancer, correct? I want you to understand the seriousness of the situation that's put you in the hospital today. You have a very large mass in your stomach. Do you understand? Yeah. You have several masses in both lobes of your lungs and multiple masses in all lobes of your liver and your spleen is enlarged as a result of this cancer. You're in very critical condition, Ian, and it's very important that you get the treatment you need immediately. 
That's why I've had to admit it today. What would happen if I can't get treated soon enough? You'll die. A few days before my bilateral mastectomy, a friend cautioned. Don't start buying stuff to compensate. I blush at her omniscient warning. I have purchased things. A set of bed sheets. Dusty coral so blood stains won't show much. And shirts that open in front. One short sleeved white. Bad choice of color, but I liked its spirited portrayal of zebras galloping through ferns and gold paint splats. Besides, it was on sale. Another long sleeve tan and lilac plaid. Rayon cotton blend, soft and comforting. On sale. Don't start buying stuff to compensate. What's next? Double scoops of strawberry ice cream? Vacations to Minneapolis St. Paul. Gold caps on my upper lateral incisors. Stereophonic earphones. Binoculars. I picture myself buying on credit duplicate sports cars in burgundy and cream. A house with twin garrets. I imagine throwing myself on the mercy of bankruptcy court. Surely the court would show compassion to a woman who lost both breasts. Or would it? I'm getting a headache. I think I need new socks. You know, cancer is a loser's lottery. And you don't even have to buy a ticket to win. Yeah, it's like, hey, congratulations. You've been chosen. You've got the winning numbers. You get cancer. <laughs>